You are watching News 8 Now. I'm Norm Carcos. And I'm Erin O'Valley. Police say charges are pending against the driver of a car that crashed in Westbrook this morning. It happened at about 3 o'clock on Methodist Road near County Lane. Police say the driver and two others were taken to the hospital for treatment. Their conditions are still unknown, but it did take more than three hours to get the car out of the woods, and Methodist Road was closed during that time. Well, the hunt continues in northern Maine for a man wanted for allegedly shooting and killing his longtime girlfriend. This man, 38-year-old Jesse Marquis, is considered to be armed and dangerous. The victim is 31-year-old Amy Terrio. Police say he shot and killed her at her home in St. Francis early Saturday morning. He was then seen fleeing from that home with a rifle, running into the woods off Route 161, wearing blue jeans, a green hoodie, and a baseball cap. You're asked to call state police if you have any information on this case. Federal regulators will hold a meeting in Portsmouth, New Hampshire on Wednesday to consider whether there will be a commercial fishing season for northern shrimp next year. The Atlantic Marine Fisheries Commission scrapped the idea this past year after the shrimp populations dipped to their lowest recorded levels. The decision will likely be announced in the fall. The Portland City Council will discuss a proposal tonight to add a five cent fee for grocery bags. If approved, the fee would apply to both paper and plastic bags. Last month, the Transportation Sustainability and Energy Approval uh, approved rather the proposal three to one. Supporters hope the fee will encourage shoppers to reuse those bags. The council will also consider a proposal to ban styrofoam packaging and containers. Thanks for tuning in to this News 8 Now update. Make sure to check back at our website at WMTW.com and our mobile app for the top stories and weather anytime. Have yourself a great Monday.